we so appreciate performers. You know, we go to the theater or to sure. hear music or to watch dance, and, and I'm so grateful that they're up there telling the stories right. that need to be told. You know, when you see uh, an artist, a performer, that's deeply embodied, mm, yes. you know that. When I started developing my work, therapy often consisted of people Ab reacting their emotions, of getting their emotions out. And it was sparse on actually feeling them. I discovered that very often the expression of the emotion is contra to the feeling of the emotion. I think sometimes, often, I, I work with people um, who don't know they have trauma. Children born healthy move with a kind of lightness and ease. It touches us in a certain way, the grace and poise and freedom. And yet, we don't see that in most adults. And so the Alexander Technique helps one to find the internal organization that gives you support. On one level, it's a technique for improving oneself, and one is able to have access to chosen moments. One of the things that happens in trauma is our, our emotions, our sensations and our emotions become fixed, they become stuck. And so we're, if we're able to touch into the trauma, and of course, of course I work you know, with thousands of people this way, then there, there gets to be a fluidity in feeling and expression. So if someone's breath is really held, to hold their own difficulty, or their own emotions that they're not willing to feel, then there's a lack in the performance. So Again, I think it's again that balance to be able to know our feelings, yes. be able to use that, but to be able to use that in the creative endeavor yes. of the role yes. or as the function.